standing for the national anthem of Ghana. Thank you. Thank you very much. Your Excellency, the President of the Republic of Ghana, Ministers of State, Members of Parliament, the top hierarchy of the Ghana Police Service, friends from the various security services of Ghana, collaborative agencies, our friends from the media, good people. <laughs> members legacy forever and ever amen aji picture se nanado aye ade pa ba be bie adan kora ma koma ko 320 new housing unit e dia ma police for any other security services for na obo nanado abaso pa ye ntie ye wura george when we came here this morning and we went around and engaging the people who have come here to witness this function, almost everybody was mesmerized by what they have seen and it is all because of me. What a legacy, Mr. President, what a legacy. But in order to put it in context, Mr. President, let me highlight a few of the many legacies since your assumption of office you have bestowed on the police service and also to us both from the perspective of law enforcement and our welfare. The first one, Mr. President, 
is to look at the volume of logistics you have provided to us, prominent among them, vehicles including over 4,000 motorbikes spread across the length and breadth of this country. Mr. President, that is historic and it is one of your legacies that we will be forever grateful. The next one, Mr. President, is where we have been able to deploy policing to the doorsteps of communities which have never seen policing, such that now police has come so close to the doorsteps of the communities and the members of the communities in such a way that it has affected the dynamics of crime in this country, and Ghana has become one of the most peaceful countries in the world. Yera, George Akufo Dampare, AVA and Watcher, say, Poisy Fast, it's name with your friend of welfare, no? Welfare, you see, a quick year, pa. Mr. President, when it comes to welfare, I'll mention just two. The first one is the establishment of Police Emergency Medical Intervention Fund, where by that establishment on your authority, and which was also commissioned by you or adored by you at the police hospital, every single police officer, irrespective of where you are, your rank, whenever you have any issue of medical and it's work-related, you are given the best of treatment wherever it is in this world, be it in Ghana or anywhere, within the shortest possible time. Mr. President, this has led to a situation where almost 20 of our people, both in Ghana and across the, across the world, have received treatment and all of them have come back, still alive, living, and their families enjoying them. Mr. President, that is one of your legacies. We are happy. Mr. President, the last one, there are many, but for want of time, is a legacy of housing. What a wow. What we are witnessing and seeing today is not the first. The first one, the major one, in addition to all what you have done across the country, is the Dominic Wabrinya one, which you commissioned yourself. And now, the second phase of that is also ongoing. And that is historic, and we will forever be grateful. Now, coming to this, we are still trying to recover from the shock we've had in terms of looking at the quality of the room, the space available, and everything that goes with it. Mr. President, we want to tell you that it's not about us anymore. It's about our spouses, it's about our children. And together with them, we say thank you very much for making us also look good and committed to the right thing. I was here for your right judge, a coup for Dampare, IGP, and a wobble, Nanada Danko, a coup for Drabaso, a war, and a more word true, and a share power, why ye a day ama Ghana police service. Maybe I agree, uh, I am coming to cut myself. Na I say, Bono no more, ye the mega six, draw no bebro, the same mega six, a four drew a bobuano. Then, a bono, I do no, I do no, I make a say, no, no, eh, 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 eh